Oh, welcome to Tazonomy Online Mathematics. Today we are continuing with the topic matrices or matrix. We want to take the scalar multiplication of what matrix, scalar multiple. So we are saying that if a matrix is multiplied by a scalar k, then each element in the matrix is multiplied by a word k. That is, if I have matrix A to be A, B, C, D, then if I am multiplying K, A, it should be K multiplying each of the element, which in this case is going to be K times A. Give me K, A, K times B, K times C, then k times what? d. So each element in the matrix will be multiplied by what? That given scalar. So if I have matrix C equals to 1, 3, 0, 3, and you are asked to find 3C, meaning 3 multiplying the matrix C, that will be 3C equals to 3 times the matrix, which in this case is going to be 3 times 1 times 0 you multiply every element so that is going to give you 3, 0, 9, 9 so the value that we are looking for, if we are to find this, is just going to be what we just arrived at. So a scalar multiple is just multiplying each of the elements by the scalar. So if for another example we have this equals to 8, 10, minus 12, minus 4. You are asked to find... half of vector m if you are asked to find half of vector m don't forget that half we are seeing there is our k that is the scalar multiple so your half m is going to be half times 8 10 so half of 8 in this case will be 4 of this minus 6 5 and what minus 2 that is a scalar multiplication so whatever number that is multiplying the matrix will have to multiply each of the entries not only some but each of them all right let's try this one so vector a is 3 by 3 we have to find a 3 meaning if I'm going to find 3 times A, 3 is going to multiply, so 3 times this will give you 9, minus 6, 12, 3 times 7, 21, 15, 18, 27, So this is what we are going to get by multiplication of vector A, matrix A, by what? 3. The second one is also 3 by 3. We have to find 2 of A plus 5 multiplying what? B. So in that case, 2A, what do we have? So per multiplication, you'll be having 2, 4, 4, 6, 2, 8, 2. So that will give us the first aspect. The second aspect is going to be 5 multiplying B. So 5B to be 5 multiplying vector b 
So 5 will multiply this to give you 35 minus 10, 5. I believe you can take care of this. Then 5 times this, the middle will be 15, 5, 25, 30, and what? 5. Don't forget, we are not asked to find separately 2A or 5B. We are asked to find their sum. So this will be added to this. Let's note this somewhere. So therefore, your 2A, 5B is going to be taking the first one, 2. So now we are going to add corresponding entries. And that will give you 37 minus 8 minus 6. This will be 9. 21, 7, 18, 33. So in all, finding vector 2A plus 5B will give you this answer. I believe you have followed step by step. Because the body is not that big, that's why I separate the 2A you can also put 2a as you have here plus 5b uh, then add them in array so that you can get your answers in this form or you can still find them separately so for this you are going to apply the principles you just learned and see if you can find minus a minus what 3b this is just minus 1 as a scalar multiplying what the vector a then 3 as a scalar. Don't forget this is subtraction. So this is subtraction of two matrices. Then 3 multiplying this, bring them together, and you are good to go. I believe at this point, you grab the concept of scalar multiplication of matrices. If you do so, give a thumbs up by clicking on like button, share, and leave a comment as we get interactive. Bye-bye.